Today on Documentify TV, we are exploring an archaeological site in northern Saskatchewan, Canada, that could change our understanding of human history in the region. Let's take a closer look at this exciting discovery that may show Indigenous people lived in the area much earlier than we previously thought. The site is located near Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, on a bend of the North Saskatchewan River, surrounded by boreal forest. Here, archaeologist Andrea Freeman from the University of Calgary and her team are carefully digging through layers of soil that could be up to 10,000 years old. What makes this site so important is its potential to push back the timeline of human presence in central Saskatchewan. Current evidence suggests that the first humans arrived in the area after the glaciers melted about 10,000 years ago. However, this new site could prove that indigenous people were living here nearly 1,000 years earlier than we initially believed. Freeman explains, the glaciers retreated from here only about 10 or 10 and a half thousand years ago. So when we look at a site that's potentially 9,200 years old, they're coming in quickly after that landscape is deglaciated. The research team, which includes experts from both the University of Calgary and the University of Saskatchewan, is using various methods to uncover clues hidden in the soil. They're collecting samples of charcoal, seeds, pollen, and other organic materials that can be radiocarbon dated to determine their age. One of the most valuable aspects of this dig is the collaboration between scientific research and traditional indigenous knowledge. Willie Ermin, an elder from the nearby Sturgeon Lake First Nation, has been involved in the project from the start. He explains that the site, known as Asoahetan in Cree, was once a crucial crossing point for bison migrations. Asoahetan is the Cree word for this area, and it was a crossing for the buffalo to the south, to the Great Prairie, Ermine says. When we say we lived with the buffalo thousands and thousands of years, well, this site will prove this. This information aligns perfectly with the archaeological evidence, which includes bison bones and tools made from bison bone. Ehrman believes that combining scientific research with traditional storytelling can provide a more complete picture of the past. He mentions a Cree narrative about how bison grew smaller over time as their diets changed, a detail he expects the bone samples at the site might confirm. The researchers have already made some fascinating discoveries. They've uncovered what appears to be an ancient hearth marked by pieces of charcoal and a distinctive orange line in the soil. They've also identified dark lines called paleosols, which are ancient soils preserved under layers of sediment. These can provide valuable information about past climates and vegetation. Dave Rondeau, a local historian, has been exploring the location for several years and played a crucial role in bringing it to the attention of the archaeologists. He's found several ancient tools in the area, including some for hunting, starting fires, and preparing meat. One of his most significant finds was a bison bone tool that was radiocarbon dated to approximately 9,200 years old. I would really like to nail down the oldest point of occupation, Rondeau says, highlighting the importance of pinpointing exactly when humans first arrived in the area. The excavation process itself is meticulous and time-consuming. The researchers carefully mark locations, spray water on the soil surface to make it easier to work with, and scrape it flat before taking samples with a trowel. Each piece goes into a labelled test tube for later analysis. In the lab, some samples will undergo radiocarbon dating, while others will be examined under a microscope. This detailed analysis can reveal information about the plants and animals that were present in the environment at different times, giving clues about the resources available to early inhabitants. Freeman believes the findings could show how the first inhabitants were living more in river valleys than on the plains, 
shortly after the glaciers retreated. We can get a sense of how they changed their relationship with the landscape over thousands of years, she says. We're talking about people who are very bold. This research not only sheds light on the distant past, but also has significance for present-day indigenous communities. By confirming the long-standing presence of their ancestors in the region, it strengthens their connection to the land and supports their traditional knowledge. The Prince Albert site is just one piece of a larger puzzle. Similar research is being conducted across North America, gradually building a more complete picture of how and when humans first populated the continent. Each new discovery adds to our understanding of human migration patterns, early technologies, and adaptations to changing environments. As the team continues their work, they're hopeful that more surprises await them in the layers of soil. Every artifact, every trace of ancient plant life, and every remnant of long ago fires helps to paint a more vivid picture of life in this region thousands of years ago. We'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video. What parts of this archaeological discovery did you find most interesting? Do you think there are more sites like this waiting to be found across North America? Share your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on more fascinating stories like this one. See you in the next video, right here on Documentify TV.